Okay, so this video will be about the difference of normal charcoal versus activated charcoal. And I will make a third plate with a homemade activated charcoal. Uh, for now, I will show you the difference between normal charcoal and activated charcoal. Because you don't want to see me point every time at the plate, I will show you underwater footage of my fish while I feed them. And I'll give you guys some answers. Okay, so this is part one of a two-part series, guys. Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, charcoal, how it's activated and uh, what's the use of it, as well as uh, the different sorts of activated charcoal. So in the beginning I just thought that normal charcoal would be the same as activated charcoal, but uh, as I went along and learning about it, I was actually blown away between the difference. And the different kinds of charcoal actually because there are three different kinds of charcoal uh, activated charcoal I'm sorry um, activated charcoal is used in water filters air filters uh, canister masks um, they were used in the early 1800s to purify the air in hospitals to get all of the stench uh, from the infected wounds out of it uh, out of the air actually uh, it is used in radioactive towers, so on, so on, guys. It, it's used for almost everything with purification. So, it must be a great product. Okay, so the most used activated charcoal or carbon is uh, the cocoa fiber. Uh, it's used in almost everything. The wood activated charcoal is uh, more used for uh, infections on animals or ourselves. Uh, you take up little doses to get uh, poison or toxins out of our systems as well as for the animals. And there's also a third one and this is more for aquariums. It's a blend of cocoa fibers mixed with bone charcoal. Okay, so the cocoa fiber charcoal, uh, charcoal yes. Uh, will mostly eliminate tannins, uh, so if your water is a bit uh, decolored from driftwood or uh, leaves that you've put in your pond or tank, uh, leaf decay, you name it, uh, it will take out all of that decoloration. So if you have pond dye in your pond, guys, it's not a good idea to put charcoal in it. Uh, it will, or the activated charcoal will suck up all your pond dye, so not a good idea. Uh, on the other hand, if you go and search for the blunt um, with bone charcoal in it, it will eliminate uh, metals in the water as well. So when you go to the store to buy activated charcoal, try to search for uh, a blunt of cocoa fibers and bone charcoal or uh, normal charcoal and bone charcoal. Now the big downsize of um, activated charcoal in your pond or tank is that it will also absorb medicines uh, and your algaecides. If you want to treat your pond with medicines or algaecides, get it out guys. Uh, treat your pond or tank or whatever and three to four days afterwards when you're done with all your treatments, then you can put it back in, maybe replace it with another bag. The plus side, on the other side, is that it will take also nutrients from the water. So if you have a tank or a pond with not a lot of uh, plants in it, it will get out most, uh, not most, it will get out quite a good amount of nutrients from your pond. So I've been thinking a while to put charcoal in my pond since I've uh, searched all this research. And I'm not sure actually if I'm going to put it in my pond. Uh, although I might put it in the winter because all the plants are in uh, hibernation. And so they will take out less nutrients from the water. But the koi I, or my fish should be asleep or won't eat that much. So I'm not sure if I want to add it. Maybe a bit of nutrients in the water is good so that there's a bit of algae growth on which my, feet, uh, my fish can eat during the winter. That would be 
the best solution because I don't think that feeding in winter is a good idea. There are different brands and uh, sorts of food that you can give in the winter, uh, but I think the natural way is still the best way to go, so they will graze on algae while you're uh, while you didn't give any food. So, and it's very good for them to get all the algae out. So they have when they need to eat, they will have algae on the hand. A big plus side would be that it will get if you have muck on the bottom of your pond uh, and normally mug starts smelling in winter and the odors will be taken out by the charcoal so that might be a good solution if your pond has a bit of a smell and what's also a great thing is that if you have a lot of dead leaf debris uh, in it from the fall the charcoal activated charcoal will also get out the coloration of the water because uh, all the dead leaves will leave, uh, let go a lot of coloration in your pond and you might not be able to see the, the bottom of your pond and that way you might even be able to scoop out some of the leaves okay now so for the big difference between activated and non-activated the big difference is actually that activated acts way faster than non-activated charcoal uh, it's all in the pores of the charcoal so they use a process there are two different processes there's steam activation uh, which we can do as a DIY because the the heat is way too high uh, we can't do it reproduce it at home but uh, there's also a chemical activation and this is one of the ways that we might be able to do and I will try to do in my second part of this video. So what actually happens is they open up the pores from the charcoal. So they go from micro pores to micro pores. Um, and what this actually does is uh, it will open up the pores more so that more air and more water can flow through it and uh, thereby take, absorb more of the uh, nutrients or whatever that's uh, not welcome in the pond or the tank. From time to time you will always also need to change out the bag of charcoal. Um, don't ask me how much because uh, I wouldn't know. I just learned about it uh, a bit more. So some people will say three to four months, other people will say, for, well, you're good for a half a year. So every other six months. Uh, it all depends on uh, what your stock load is. Uh, how much liters of water do you have? Do you have a good filtration or not? Uh, put it in a spot where there's a lot of current and flow so that it all can pass through the uh, cocoa fibers or the charcoal fibers and also uh, it depends on what kind of stock do you have do you have a community tank or a pond do you have a predator tank or pond uh, that also is a big difference Okay, so that was it for this part. Uh, next part will be me making the activated charcoal and uh, I'll do a test. I've made a bucket and I've put some charcoal, in, uh, no not charcoal, I've put some uh, wood pieces in it to stain the water and then we'll put it to the test. I will put it in a, in a small container three different containers, one with normal charcoal, one with the DIY activated char charcoal and one with the bot activated charcoal to see the difference. Stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see that video and uh, I'll see you on my next video guys.